Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shea. It's very nice to see you and it's nice to be back here. Um, the sun's kind of coming and going here, so um, it should be okay for the light and stuff. If it does come and start shining in the window, I'll have to pull the, the, the window blind down so it's not kind of shining on my face. Um, but how are you? How's things where you are in the world? I hope you're all keeping well, having good shaves. Um, yeah, this shave today, I'm looking forward to it because it's one of my favourite scents ever. Um, right, let me show you what it is. It's, you've probably seen it from the thumbnail, GOF Trumper Spanish Leather. Um, I love this, I love the scent on this. Um, I'm going to start with the skin food. You can use this as a pre-shave or as a post-shave. It has very good stuff. Um, you only need a little bit. It has a little uh, restrictor in it there. So I'll just start with a, a little bit of that. Yeah, you just need that much. It's very slick. Oh, what a scent. Yeah, it's like, um, it smells like leather from Spain. Spanish leather. Oh, Kevy. So soon, why do you start your nonsense so soon? I don't know. So I just do, that's why, that's the way I roll. That's the way I roll. Um, right, that's the um, that's the scent we're using today, Spanish leather. Um, starting with the, the skin food from GOF Trumper. Um, the razor is the Wilkinson Sword, the newest one with the uh, twist to open at the bottom here. This came out, I don't know, a couple of years ago. They still get them for sale in the UK. I think you can get them abroad as well. So um, quite a long handle, but this was uh, their kind of renewing people that were interested in DE shaving. It has a nice, uh, what do you call that, barber pole handle? Yeah. Yeah, twist the bottom and it opens up like that. It has the Wilkinson Sword logo on there, as you can see. Uh, the blade I'm going to put in that is a brand new Dorco Titan. I don't think I've used one of these blades in this razor. So I'm going to use one today. There it is there. It has that um, Titan thing on the side. Let me show you the blade. There we go. Same on the other side. So what you do, you just drop that in there. There's there. Then you twist the bottom and the doors close. And there's a little bit of overhang. And there it is there. That's it. Right, the brush is... Uh, this is that Dan Rob, and um, this is called the, let me just move that, this is called the Silversmith. I bought this from Rob Moffat, who's now known as Chisel and Hound. Um, at the time he was uh, that Dan Rob, and this is a Silversmith brush. And I put this knot in it myself, this is a 26mm Timberwolf knot, synthetic. Yeah, beautiful brush, look at that. Really nice. That down, Rob, yeah, good stuff. Right, I'm gonna bowl out of the cream in the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. It's warm in here today, it's warm. Right, so how much cream do I use? I use, let me show you. About that much. Yeah, this was a, just a tube of this. I think you can you can get it in tubs now, like a full-size tub, but I, I only got that, I don't know, I think it was cheaper or something. But, um, and I wasn't sure about trying it and stuff, and so that was the the reason I only bought the tube. But I would get the tub definitely if the if that runs when that runs out, I'm definitely going to get the tub. No, it's just a beautiful, manly, beautiful manly scent. You know what I mean? Especially for a Scotsman, beautiful manly scent, like leather. Not in a kinky, kinky leather way, no, 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 no. Just in a leather, leather manly way. Okay, it whips up, no problem, pretty easy. Yeah, this is a great knot. I'm perspiring, look, wow. It's the hardest I've worked all, worked all day, making it, <laughs> creating this ladder. Right, I'm gonna put a little bit of drops, a few drops of water in there. We can add more on the face as we start bringing it to the face, but essentially we're creating a lather in the bowl with that. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, one of my favorite scents. 
Right, let's uh, wet the wet the coupon. Right, let's go with this. Yeah, um, mm, tastes good. Trumpers and stuff creams are okay. They're 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 not like artisan creams with full of butters and stuff like that. But you know they do the job. They've got great scents and they work. So yeah, they lather up well. Yeah, the reason I bought this Spanish leather. Um, Trumpers have two stores in London. I think their main one is in Curzon Street, C-U-R-Z-O-N. Uh, that's their main shop. Uh, they have another one beside Taylor Road, Bond Street, but it's not as it's not as big as the um, Curzon Street one. Curzon Street's got a beautiful window display and stuff. And yeah, so I, I remember going there uh, to the Curzon Street store um, to get a shave. And I'd not been shaving that long, you know, this this way. I mean, shaving, um, traditional wet shaving, DE shaving. And I went there to get a shave when I visited London one time. And uh, this was the um, soap that the guy used. He said, what kind of soap? Do, do you have a preference for any kind of cream or soap that you sent that you want me to use? And I said, no, I'll leave it up to you. And he, he used Spanish leather. And uh, I think once I came out, I went and bought it all this uh, stuff here. So, yeah, that's the reason I, I just love it. And always good memories, getting a shave there, getting a shave in the GWF Trumpers. Right, let's go with the uh, Wilkinson sword. The twist to open razor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can still get this razor in the um, supermarkets here. It's a good uh, starting razor for those that are starting out this way shaving. It's not too aggressive. And it's um, it's very easy to use. You just uh, open the doors, just the bottom of the handle, open the doors, pop the blade in. And that's you done. Look at these little weepers again. Every shave I've had since even like off camera, I've had these little dots here. Must just be the the way my skin is. Maybe in the summer months. Yeah, look, this little wee pair of things, not cracks or stuff like that. It's real hot in here. Oof. Yeah. Uh, you often see people on forums talking about Dorco blades, uh, saying that they're not good and. I've always liked them. Especially these uh, Titan ones. Yeah, I think I've got a, I think I've got a hundred of these on Amazon for some stupid price, like about six pounds or something like that. You hear my stomach then, crying out for food. Gary, please, food! <laughs> yeah, quite easy to get under the nose. Yeah, look, see, little weepers there. They will fade, 
cold water we're talking about. Right, let me rinse this face. Good slickness, not the best, but it's good. It's there, definitely. Not um, like some of the artisan slickness, but it's good. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinse nicely. Yeah, those of me that have followed, those of, those of you that have followed me from um, early on when I started shaving this week, you'll know that this is my little trouble spot area. I've always had trouble with this little area here. Even when I shaved with a cartridge razor, I used to break out in big um, dots here, stuff like that. But um, it's always been my, everyone has one, a little trouble area that maybe the hair grows different ways and stuff like that, but mine's has always been there. Right, back to this uh, Spanish leather with the, that Dan Rob Silversmith. Spanish leather. Did you have a good, um, those of you in the States, did you have a good 4th of July celebrations? Plenty of food, plenty of drinking, games, spending time with loved ones, family. I hope so. I hope it was a good day for you. Me, I was working and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's not a holiday here, so we don't celebrate it. But some holidays you don't celebrate. Like, um, I don't know. <laughs> Scottish drinking day. Right, <laughs> Scottish drinking day. Yeah, that's every day in Scotland. Right, uh, let's go past number two. Yeah, look, you see these little dots across the growth. Yeah, this is a nice uh, razor if you're starting out this way of shaving. If you're looking for a D razor, let me just check my phone, I'm waiting on a call. Hold on one second. And we're back. Yep. Yeah, I was waiting on a, a phone call. But the person texted me there and said, um, no, sent me a message on WhatsApp and said, right, give me a call. So. That was the reason for that little cut. Not this little cut, there's that. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice um, long handled razor. There is overhang, so be careful going around the nose and the ears. I'll tell you what, this blade feels nice in this. Nice and smooth. Yeah, look at that. It seems to be getting worse. Oh well. I can live with it. Someone left a comment actually saying um, in the last shave with the, the the fat handle tech, or was it the shave before, I can't remember. He said uh, you had little weepers with that razor and yet you can shave with a Rockwell 6S on setting 5 or 6 and not get any little weepers or nicks and why is that? I don't know. <laughs> so many different uh, ways of shaving it not ways of shaving but there's so many combinations you can use when it comes to this way of shaving like different razor or a blade will work better with a different razor for an individual and everybody's different so that's what's so much fun and uh, that's what I always say what works for me might not work for you the only way to try it is to try it for yourself that's the best way right let me rinse with uh, some cold water and then we'll come back for the third pass Okay, that's that rinsed. Yeah, slickness is getting better. It's still not great, it's still not the best, but it's there. It is there. Let me show you how much uh, cream's left in this. 
lots and lots. Right. Yeah, this um, Spanish leather kind of reminds me a little bit of imperial leather, but I think it's an even nicer scent than that. I really like it. Really, really like it. It's probably in my easily top five scents. As I say, it's not the best um, cream in terms of like slickness and stuff like that and all the ingredients and stuff, but it works and it does the job and it's, uh, it's a lovely scent for me personally. Right, let's uh, lay this on thick here because these little dots, I don't want to irritate them even more going against the growth. Right, we'll see how that goes. Right. Against the growth with the Wilkinson sword with the Dorco Titan. Yes, easy to find the angle with this razor as well. Nice bit of weight to it, with the handle, with the long handle. It's quite a mild blade this, um, in this razor especially. Listen to that. Yeah, I've not had a look at um, Chisel and Hound's website for a little while. I see how Rob's uh, brushes are coming on. I know he's still going, and uh, as I say, I've followed him from kind of his early days with uh, that done Rob. I've got actually I've got three or four of his brushes, I think. Um, but yeah, he just gets better and better. These artisan brush makers are amazing. What they can do with a bit of resin and a couple of chisels. That's nice, that feels amazing. Right, let me have a little rinse. There's not much there actually. Usual spot. Just under the, the chin here. You guys in the States and uh, the rest of the world, do you get the Wimbledon tennis coverage? We get it like it's on <laughs> nearly every day now on the BBC. It's on for like from early morning, well, kind of 10, 11 o'clock, right through to um, 10 at night. It's great, I like it. I like the tennis, it's good. One of these sports you can watch 
because it's so quiet and peaceful and stuff, well, apart from when they're whacking the ball back and forward, um, it's kind of one of these sports that you can have a little um, nap to, wake up like that, and uh, golf. Golf's the same for me, I was just like, uh, wake up and then they're, <laughs> I thought they were on the third hole, and then they wake up and then they're on the, like, the eighth hole, and I must have nodded off. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm the same, that's the same for, tennis does the same thing for me. That feels amazing, really good. Right, I'm gonna go with the alum again, just because uh, these little weepers and stuff like that. So that's what it's there for. If you have it in your toolbox, your wet shaving toolbox, yeah, use it. Right, under the cold tap. Yeah, a little bit of sting down here, where these little weepers are. A little bit up here. But um, yeah, as I say, I've said that before. If there's things that you can use to stop little nicks and cuts or whatever, you know, every shave's not going to be perfect and drama free. Because there's so many different combinations you can use with blades and razors and soaps and how wet or dry your lather is and stuff. Um, but you only find out these things as your journey kind of progresses. Yeah, so just uh, just hold the alum on there. Just, as, as your journey progresses, you'll find out what works for you and little tips and tricks that you pick up from others. Tricks? Yeah, the one where you slice your head off and then walk out the bathroom, come back in and your head's back there. It's amazing, that trick. I've never learned how to do it yet, but... Um, there's a couple of guys do it. <laughs> Who? I see somebody, who, who does it carry? I don't know, in here they do it. I've, I've seen them in here. Yeah, but um, elsewhere I've not. Right, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna let the alum just sit on my skin, do its thing. I'll clean up my gear, uh, clean this brush out. There's still lather in there, but it doesn't have that good properties for a, a face wash. I might have a face wash, I don't know. Um, once, once the alum's been rinsed off, I might just put that on while I'm cleaning out the rest of the gear and then I'll come back for the post shave. So I will see you very, very soon. Feels good, feels good. Skin doesn't feel really, really conditioned with that um, cream, but it feels okay. Right, onto the post shave. Um, I'm just going straight for the aftershave. I don't actually think you can get this now. Um, I've had a look and I can't find it anywhere. Spanish leather aftershave. I know you get the EDT, but um, this is the aftershave. Look, love a little lid here, this little crown, top of this crown that comes off and there's a little bit in there for the splash to come out. Nice. Nice bit of burn there. Oh, what a scent. Yeah. That takes me right back to getting that shave at Trumpers in London. And when this goes on, I thought, oh, that's a bit strong. But as it kind of dies, uh, dries down, I thought that's really, really nice. Yeah, look a little beautiful, isn't it? And I'm going to finish it off with the uh, Spanish leather skin food again. You can use this as a balm, as I said, uh, or a, a pre-shave. But it's very, very good stuff. It's very, it's mostly glycerin based. I shall show you the uh, ingredients there. And you can pause that. Yeah, but you only need a tiny little bit. And it smells exactly the same. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, see that? The alum has um, taken care of these little weepers and stuff. Nice shave. Feels good. Smelling great. I love that scent. I absolutely love it. Here we go. A Spanish leather shave. Right, let me show you what we've used. Uh, we started off with the Spanish leather skin food from GOF Trumpers um, as a pre-shave, a little bit of that. Um, the razor was the, the new Vulcanson Sword 
the most recent twist to open one, the modern one, I guess you call it. Uh, inside that was a brand new Dorco Titan. And there's a label for it there. Yeah, a nice blade in that razor. Not um, overly sharp, but nice and smooth. Done the job. Very good. Nice razor, good length on the handle. And um, yeah, it's nice. You can pick these up relatively cheap. It's a nice razor to have, have in the den. Um, we used the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. The cream was the GOF Trumpers Spanish Leather. Shaving cream. Three passes, a little bit of pickup. Um, then we used the Allen Block. A couple of whoopers down here, stuff on a little trouble spot, but I cleared them up, did the trick, feels good. Uh, finished it off with Spanish Leather from Trumpers Aftershave and then the Spanish Leather Skin Food for the post shave. And there we have it. Spanish Leather Shave. Very, very good. Right. Um, I'll see you in the next shave. When I'll be, I do not know. Uh, I'm still kind of learning lines for the play. Although we did the same play last year, it's kind of just I'm just kind of refreshing my memory with the lines. I'm doing a play at the um, Edinburgh Fringe for those of you that don't know. Um, the three weeks in August, I'm doing a play uh, in Edinburgh. The whole of August gets taken up by a thing called the Edinburgh Fringe, which is an arts uh, festival. There's music. There's dance. There's theatre, comedy, it's just non-stop for the whole month of August. Um, so I'm doing a play for three weeks in August at the Edinburgh Fringe. I did it last year for two weeks, but this year um, the venue's a little bit bigger because we, it was quite popular last year. We got good reviews and stuff like that. So we're doing it again. There's a little bit, it's been extended a little bit. So there's more lines to learn and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know when the shapes will come out, but if I have time to film on one, if I have to film on my roof, See, I'm learning my lines now. <laughs> if I have time to film it, I will. And I'll put it out. I don't know when I'll get edited and stuff like that. But anyway. Right. So that's the story. That's what's happening. I hope you're well. I hope you're uh, looking after the loved ones and spending time with family. Enjoying the sunshine if, if it is sunny. Uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.